Hello guys, Furball the Hammy, your friendly neighborhood hamster, is back again for another Hypixel Skyblock video. Today, as you can tell from my voice, I'm proudly here to finally announce that Perfect 12 may be seeing some use in the meta at the moment. However, it is not undeniably the best, but it does have its niche purpose in the meta when grinding slayers at the moment. As we all know with the slime head glitch being fixed, rest in peace, it was a baby to me, it was good while it lasted, slayers were so much easier without knockback back then due to the glitch. However, with the release of the pets update, we have also received a bunch of new pets, with the two new pets being good pets for slayers, namely the legendary wolf pet for the combat XP to speed up slayer quests, and the legendary total pet for the knockback immunity we all used to love and we all used to abuse. However, most slayer grinders now use the legendary wolf pet for speedier quests, but at the cost of taking knockback now, since the slime head glitch has been fixed. While some who can't live a normal life with knockback now, like a fellow hamster here, since I've been abusing the glitch for almost 3 to 4 months, I am very not used to knockback right now, so I'm forced to use the turtle pet to gain knockback immunity at the cost of no combat XP bonus, which is a bummer since every single slayer grinder back in the days could have both combat XP and knockback immunity when grinding slayers. However, there is a way to kill all tier 4 slayer bosses with knockback immunity and combat XP bonus. The trick? Behold, the perfect 12 armor set. But after being in a slumber for several months, perfect 12 should finally have a use, right? Well, it might not be very useful to you if you don't mind taking knockback and you don't want to drop like 30 million coins on this armor set itself, but for those who want anti knockback and are rich and do want to run the wolf pet along with anti knockback, be sure to keep watching. The strategy is simple. For Savan Packmaster, just wear 3 quarter perfect 12 and a slime head. I have tested it before, you just need true protection on your chest plate, max HPB, your perfect 12, a high level legendary pet, preferably level 40 and higher, as well as a mana flux power orb or better. Because the wolf pet reduces damage and true damage from Savan, while your perfect 12 defenses reduces the base damage of Savan, which makes it workable with an aspect of the dragon's reaper scythe or any of those late game weapons. It is possible to solo tier 4 Savan with no knockback and extra combat XP, so be sure to try it out if you are interested, although it does cost a casual 30 odd million coins to get that setup done. Sadly, the price of a wall with no knockback is very expensive. However, don't worry too much about Perfect 12 lack of health to deal with Savan's true damage. Your wolf pet not only reduces damage from wolves, it also gives true defense, which also stacks with your true defense enchant on your perfect chestplate if you do intend to, en to enchant it on your chestplate. So you don't really need to worry too much about dying to Savan true damage in this case. For Tarantula, the setup is slightly different. Because the spider's den is vertically high, you want mobility. Thus, I recommend wearing Perfect 12 chestplate, leggings, and tarantula boots as well as the slime hat as you see is what I'm doing in the video. With this setup, you can get around 1200 to around 1400 defense which is a lot and more than enough for you to deal with mutant tarantulas also known as the red mini bosses. Thus, you can not only have anti knockback, gain extra combat XP from the legendary wolf pet, but you also get access to the double jump ability for extra mobility without breaking any set bonuses because woohoo, perfect has no set bonus in the first place. For Revenant, you can just run your generic Perfect 12 with a slime head, but with many other armor sets, since tier 4 Revenants are really easy, many other armor sets can also clear tier 4 Revenants by replacing their original head with a slime head, you will still do perfectly fine. And thus, you might not want to get Perfect 12 if you're fighting Revenants. I mean, for Revenants, Superior is always the way to go, and it has always been the way to go, so just keep using Superior lah if you are doing Revenant. Lastly, if you want maximum survivability for future dungeons and whatnot, Perfect 12 will be very relevant. Just wear 3 quarter Perfect 12 and the Reaper Mask for double healing, along with an Overflux Power Orb for even more healing, and the Reaper Scythe to get even more lifesteal from your army of zombies and to double it with the Reaper Mask. In fact, this is a theory craft armor set in my opinion and weapon 
set and armor set combined I guess and it will be very powerful for defense purposes when not dealing with true damage and will definitely give you a lot of survivability. And now I shall evaluate the pros and cons of choosing to run perfect 12 for slayers. The pros, very versatile in giving anti knockback, combat XP buff and even mobility when paired with other items which other armor sets cannot do because they will lose their full set bonus. Another pro would be that there are higher defenses when using perfect 12 as compared to running superior dragon armor which means that you will be able to deal with red mini bosses more effectively without dying in 4 hits. And the, and the third pro in my opinion would be a long term investment for dungeons as admins have hinted strongly at perfect 12 being viable in dungeons and being crucial for dungeons in fact. And the final pro for perfect 12 is that it costs almost or actually slightly cheaper than superior dragon armor since you only need 3 out of the 4 pieces. However, now moving on to the cons of perfect 12. Perfect 12 does less damage when compared to Tarantula or Superior Dragon Armor. It also is a lot more expensive as compared to the other Slayer Armor sets like Mastiff and Tarantula. And, it, and the cons of Perfect lies in the fact that it requires other armor pieces to synergize with it to see its full potential. You can't just get a full Perfect 12 armor set, chestplate, helmet, leggings, and boots and expect it to be really powerful. It isn't. Perfect 12 has to be synergized with other armor pieces for it to be good. And the last con for Perfect 12 is that there is no plus 4% magic find unlike Superior, but how important is plus 4% magic find honestly? It's just 4%, it's not that significant honestly. However, that being said, I personally love Perfect 12 and the versatility Perfect 12 gives in giving me everything I need for grinding slayers. It may not be the best at damage, but it certainly allows you to run multiple pieces and unique combinations. I am, I am also not here to argue the debate between whether Superior or Perfect 12 is better because I find Perfect 12 just better for my Slayer experience and while you may find it otherwise, we all have our own opinions and let's all each respect each of our own opinions. So if you do have cash or perfect armor lying around and you are open minded to non-meta options, be sure to consider it. And with that, I hope I opened your eyes to something interesting with Perfect 12 and that you have learned a thing or two as to why I love Perfect 12. This is Furball the Hemi, the off-meta player signing out.